7 Days of Classic Korean Recipes. First, crack your eggs. And now you're going to pass it through a seat. Add your broth. This is salted shrimp. Add sugar to balance the flavors. This is a dupiki. You need to oil it. It'll start to form curds like this. Cover it and lower the heat. Seven days of classic Korean recipes. Baby potatoes, cook until golden brown. Cover it and let it steam. It's nice and wrinkly. Add garlic, soy sauce, and lots of rice syrup. And now just let it caramelize. Day five of Korean recipes. Vinegar to make it easier to peel. Add your eggs. Lower the heat and cook for seven and a half minutes. Add soy sauce, water, sugar, pepper, galleons, and sesame seeds. And let this sit in the fridge overnight. Day seven of Korean recipes. Add dashi, salt, carrots, green onions, ham, and crab meat. Square pan, but it's not essential. Using low heat, add your oil. Fold a napkin and spread it around. Seven days of classic Korean recipes. All-purpose flour, potato starch, but cornstarch and rice flour are okay too. Salt and sugar. Sugar balances the sour kimchi. This is Korean red pepper flakes. Cut your kimchi. You'll need some juice, Korean red pepper paste, scallions, diced onions. These are spicy Korean peppers. Add your flour. Make sure you use ice water for crispy batter. And gently stir with chopsticks so gluten doesn't form. Seven days of classic Korean recipes. Add to skewers. Wipe out the oil, add soy sauce, ketchup, a little water to loosen it, rice syrup, this is gochujang, green red pepper flakes, and sugar. Add back your rice cake, brush with sauce, and let this caramelize. Classic Korean recipes for seven days. Add your scallions, sausages, I'm using Korean soy sauce, sugar, cut your kimchi, green red pepper paste, and I'm using instant rice. No need to microwave. Break it apart, and don't forget your pepper flakes. Cook on high till it's crispy. Add more scallions. 